Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from EzraAutomation.com and today in this video we'll be talking about Playwright with c .net, but with any unit test framework. We have already discussed with Playwright using any unit test framework in our earlier videos of our Playwright with .net video series in YouTube as well as in Udemy. But in this video we are going to see how we can even extend the power of the any unit test framework where you can actually customize the test framework or control the type of browser, the speed of the browser, as well as the headed browser or headless browser, not just by giving us a command line that we used to do it before, but now we can also use the run settings file of .NET test, which you can use not only in NNET, but also in NMS test to control all these options of Playwright. It is quite awesome. And I'm gonna quickly show you how you can do that from the scratch, from the complete ground up. But this code, as you can see over here, the Playwright.NET repo in our github repository of execute automation it already has got all the latest code that we have been discussing about playwright with csharp.net it includes the api testing the spec flow integration as well as the playwright with the uh, like with the raw test framework but in this video we'll see how we can actually use the playwright end unit as well so in order to do that i've already cloned the repository within my local machine over here so this is the latest code that we have got i'm just going to go ahead and add a new project and I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually create an N unit test framework library this time. So I'm going to go choose the unit test project. And instead of the X unit or the MS test that we have used before, I'm going to choose the N unit type this time, which means it is going to create an N unit uh, based project. And I'm going to call this as playwright and unit demo. And then I'm going to hit enter. So this is going to create a playwright with the any test framework uh, project for us over here. But the thing is like it only has the dependency of the uh, any unit over here. So if you just right click and if you just go to the edit uh, and then if you just edit this playwright any unit uh, project over here, the CS project, you'll notice that it will have the any unit, the any unit three test adapter and the any unit analyzer. So this is all about the any unit itself. So now we are going to add a dependency using the manage NuGet package and we're going to add the playwright with the .NET or the end unit itself. So for doing that, I'm just going to say playwright dot end unit and you'll see that we have a package called as playwright dot end unit of Microsoft. So I'm going to go ahead and install the latest version, which is 1.39 during the recording. So I'm going to do that. And once it is installed, we can now see that there is going to be a uh, playwright any unit as well for us over here in our CS project, right? So I'm going to close all the tab and I'm going to go to the unit test one.cs file over here. So the first thing which I'm going to do it is I'm going to add the uh, playwrights uh, page test. And as you know that the any unit test framework of the playwright comes along with all these dependencies for you, like all the scaffolding for you. So it's very, very easy. All you have to do it is you can just say like page test over here and you see that it's coming from the microsoft.playwright.n unit and then i'm just going to choose this particular option so once i do that now i have got all the different libraries which is required for me to play around with the playwright itself over here so as we have already discussed as i showed you in the earlier videos of this particular series you will notice that we have used this paste test even before and we have also written some of the codes over here so i can actually use the same code if i wanted to but guess what because this is 2023 and we have come so long with the playwright and i will quickly show you how these changes now it's very very easy to do in playwright itself so for doing that i'm going to go to the terminal over here and now i'm just going to do an ls you will notice that we have all this particular folder which is nothing but the playwright demo playwright and unit demo and api testing i'm going to go to the playwright any unit demo that we just created this particular project and i'm gonna go to the uh, what is called as the bin and debug and net 7 so in this particular folder you will actually find all the different uh things that you need for example so once we build this particular project because i have not built this other project there is nothing over there in the particular folder at the moment at least but once it is built and now if i go to the terminal and if i do an ls you'll notice that we have got a series of files over here and the file that i am actually looking for is going to be the playwright.ps1 because it is going to be helpful for me to do a code gen as well if i wanted to so we know there is uh, something called a score gen which will help us to generate the code 
on the fly instead of rewriting the code as i told you this is 2023 and there are so many things have changed in playwright especially in dotnet as well so all you have to do it is you just have to do like pwsh and then there is something called as dot slash and playwright dot ps1 so once i do that you will notice that it is going to uh, show me all the different options that you can do like you can open the url you can do a code gen you can install you can uninstall and all those stuff and i'm actually going to do the code gen option so i'm going to say code gen over here and i'm going to use the ea app dot somi dot com website which is going to helpful for me to do a recordings and stuff so i'm gonna go bring this particular um window over here so you can see that there is this playwright inspector which is going to help me to record the options as well you see that it's all going to bring me up automatically which is pretty cool and i'm gonna go hit the login and you'll see that there is this code being recorded for me behind the scene so i can just use this one and i'm gonna say admin as the username and password as the password and i'm gonna hit this login and then i'm gonna go click this employee list and i'm gonna hit create new button that's it so these are the things that i really wanted to do and i wanted to verify if this particular employee is coming in or not so this is the verification that i wanted to do and verify if the employee heading comes in once i click the employee i mean click the create uh, employee button there that's it this is the thing that it's going to come up and guess what with this particular playwright inspector you can also generate the code not just with the raw library but also you can generate using n unit so once i do this n unit you will notice that there's this page test it also generates the whole code for me in this particular fashion and you also notice there is something called as parallelizable of parallelscope.self which means you can run the test in the parallel execution as well which is awesome so it is automatically coming up for me so i'm just going to copy this code and i'm going to go to my writer over here and i'm going to paste this code and guess what this is await and we need to do this asynchronous coding so i'm going to do an async of task and i'm going to add the missing references and you'll notice that the code is now quite legal and i'm going to go back and copy this particular code the opening of this particular url so i'm going to paste it over here and i'm going to make this as async task as well so this particular code is becoming a legal code for me over here so as i told you uh after i just go to this particular heading i also need to do a verification i can easily do that using the expect method so i can just do an expect you notice that there is going to be a i locator assertions options of playwright uh, in unit which is going to help for me to do an assertions over here so i'm just going to do an expect and i'm just going to say this one to be visible async see and i don't really need this click async method so i can get rid of that and now this particular code is legal as well so this is quite neat which you can actually do it over here um and yeah i think this is going to be an await there we go so this is the way that we can actually perform the uh, operation over here using the n unit and i'm going to build this particular whole selected project and i'm going to go right click or maybe just go ahead and run the selected test and you will notice that it is going to run the test for me just behind the scene because you will notice that it is going to be running in the headless mode by default right and now come the actual quest of how that we can customize this code in a way that we can run them in the headful mode and also how we can change the browser type like it is currently running in the chromium browser so how do i change that to firefox browser or how do i run it in the uh, ms edge browser like how do i change all these options so this is the things that we can actually customize in playwright c sharp dotnet with any unit as well pretty much like how we can do with other language which was not possible before and now it is possible using this particular change so in order to demonstrate that and because this video is already getting too long i'm actually going to talk about that in our next video but for now i'm actually going to show you the parallelizable feature as well so as you can see over here we have this parallelizable scope of the n unit which we can actually use it over here like parallelizable 
of parallel scope dot self which means it is going to run this particular test in parallel so what does that mean is that i can just copy this whole code and i can go ahead and paste it as unit test 2 dot cs file and i'm going to go change the constructor a bit over here so i'm gonna say unit test 2 uh, something like this and this is going to be unit test 1 probably so once I change this you will notice that these are the two cores which is going to do the exact same operation but they are going to be running the code in parallel for us and guess what there is a mistake in our code as well we're going to get rid of this line cool uh, and now if I try to run both these unit tests in the rider IDE you will notice that they are running in parallel like same time and they are getting passed as well so this is happening because of the the parallelizable scope that we have got within our n unit something like this so you can change this parallelizable scope from self to fixture or children default something like that i mean you can do whatever that you wanted to but i'm going to go stick with the self because that is more than enough for us to run this particular test in the parallel mode and if you have multiple tests in this particular n unit to be executed over here you can do that as well but the good thing is these tests are going to run in sequence in this particular class file but while it comes to multiple different class files they are going to be running in parallel so in a single class file they are going to be running in sequence but in multiple class file they are going to be running in parallel so this way you can see that there is going to be like multiple tests being executed but they are going to be running in parallel and sequence based on how you configure that within your parallelizable scope over here so i think that is the thing that i really wanted to discuss in this particular video but i also missed the uh, the run settings file that we have to use and i also need to show you how that you can use the run settings file within the rider ide and how you can run them in the command line interface so all those details i'm actually going to show you in our next video until then catch you in the next video